Hey, what's up guys? Brian Kelly here from Zombie Guitar. Here in today's video, I want to talk about taking basic box pattern scale patterns on the guitar, something like this. I'm sure you've seen that before, and converting it into a diagonal type of scale pattern, something like this. I played the exact same thing, it was the exact same notes, it's just one was confined to a little four fret region, and the other kind of expanded your playing you know to eight frets or something like that so i'm doing this video by request i did a video about this before but i just talked about the pentatonic scale if you haven't seen that one already i'll put a link to that um this one we're going to talk about the minor pentatonic scale the natural minor scale the dorian scale the phrygian scale and then we're going to look at the major pentatonic scale, the major scale, the Lydian scale, and the Mixolydian scale. So for all eight of these scales, we're going to first look at them in their box pattern form, and then we're going to look at them in their diagonal form. So before getting started with the lesson, I just wanted to say a few words about my website, zombieguitar.com. Currently, there's 12 full-length courses on there. There's over 140 mini courses on there, and there's thousands of video backing tracks. There's just tons and tons of stuff. It is a resource that is designed to last you for a lifetime zombieguitar.com. Check it out. Appreciate it. Let's get on to the lesson. All right, so the first thing we need to do is differentiate between major scales and minor scales. For major types of scales, the major pentatonic scale is going to act as the shell. For minor types of scales, the minor pentatonic is going to act as the shell. So for this video, we're actually going to start out with the minor types of scales because minor pentatonic. We all know and love that scale, right? So let's start out with the A minor pentatonic scale in this position number one in the box form. <laughs> So that's your A minor pentatonic scale. So the pentatonic scale is just five notes. So those five notes, we can assign an interval to them. So the minor pentatonic scale formula is one flat three, four, five, flat seven. So this is one, this is flat three, this is four and five, this is flat seven, and then you're back at one again. Flat three, four, five, flat seven, back at one again flat three. All right, so it's just five notes. So we're gonna take those five notes and we are going to essentially do what I refer to as the two, three method. So you're gonna play two of the five notes on one string, then you're gonna play three of the remaining five notes on the next string. Then you're gonna play two notes on the next string, then three notes on the next string, then two, then three. So two, three, two, three, two, three. So for this diagonal pattern, you're actually gonna take your third finger instead of your index finger and you're gonna put it on the one. So your third finger is gonna go right there, fifth fret of the low E string. And your flat seven is always gonna be found a whole step below the one. So anywhere you have a one, two frets lower is gonna be where your flat seven is. So here's your one flat seven. <laughs> And then on your next string, you're going to have the three notes. So you're going to have the flat three, the four, and the five. So here's your two notes. Here's your three notes. Then on the next string, you're only going to have two notes. That's going to be the flat seven and the one again. On the next string, you're going to have your three notes. That's going to be the flat three, the four, and the five. Next string, you're going to have your two notes. That's the flat seven and the one. Next string, you're going to have your three notes. That's the flat three, four, and the five. So we actually extended beyond what this box pattern has us doing. In this box pattern, we're only going from to here. So instead of doing this, we did this. Now, I also added in that extra flat seven down here just to kind of demonstrate this whole two notes, three notes, two notes, three notes, two notes, three notes thing. You don't have to add that flat seven in there. But just for demonstration purposes, I put that in there because that's the string that has the two notes on it. But as you can see, there's multiple ways to get from A to A. Or from A to A. Now, as I said, the minor pentatonic scale acts as the shell for other minor types of scales. So the pentatonic scale is five notes. These other scales that we're gonna be talking about are seven notes. So we're just adding two additional notes to the minor pentatonic scale to get these other scales. So the first scale we're gonna look at is the natural minor scale, otherwise known as the Aeolian scale. So the two additional notes that we added according to their intervals are the two and the flat six. All right, so you have a one, a two, you have your flat three, your four, your five, your flat six, your flat seven, back at one again. 
two, flat three, four, five, flat six, flat seven, one, two, flat three. So let's now look at this in the diagonal form. So just like the pentatonic scale had the two, three, two, three, two, three thing, now we're looking at a seven note scale. So it's going to be three on one string, four on the next string, three on one string, four on the next string, three, four. It's seven notes total. So the way that this works is, again, you could start on your, your one right here using your third finger. You can add in this flat seven if you want. So you have your one, you have your flat seven, your one, your two, your flat three, your four, your five, and then one half step above the five is the flat six. So you have your four notes on this string. Then you're gonna have three notes on the next string. Then you're gonna have four notes on the next string. Three notes, four notes. If you're new to this, it may be a little weird at first, but if you're gonna put in the time practicing box patterns, it's gonna take some time. Put in time practicing these diagonal patterns, it's gonna take some time. No matter what it's gonna require practice, it's just a different way to look at these scales. The next minor type of scale we're gonna look at is the Dorian scale. So again, we're gonna start out looking at the box pattern form using the minor pentatonic scale as the shell. The two additional notes to create the Dorian scale are gonna be the two and the natural six, not a flat six, just a six. That's the only difference between the natural minor scale, otherwise known as the Aeolian scale, and the Dorian scale. It's the six. As you can see, the minor pentatonic scale is still the shell, we just added in two additional notes to create the Dorian scale. So looking at this Dorian scale in its diagonal form, we're still gonna have four notes on one string, three notes on the next, four on the next, three on the next, four on the next, three on the next, but it's gonna be backwards of that of the previous scale we just looked at. So here's our root right here, fifth fret of the low E string, that's the one. One whole step below that is that flat seven. And then one half step below that is where that natural six is. Then you have your two here. So you don't have to play these lower notes. You can just start on the one if you want, but I'm just demonstrating that this is now the string that has the four notes on it. So for this one, I actually like to take my second finger and put it on the one. So we're just gonna put the middle finger right there on the fifth fret of the low E string. So there's your one, there's your two. Here's your flat three, four, five. Here's your natural six. Slide up to the flat seven. Then you have your one, two. So you have your four notes on this string. And then you have your three notes on the next string. Then you have your four notes on the next string. And you have your three notes. Now by expanding across all six strings with this diagonal pattern, we went further than we would have if we would have just stuck with the box pattern. In the box pattern, just going from A to A up here. That's your Dorian scale, your A Dorian scale. Diagonal pattern going from A to A, you have. All right, same thing, we just did it in the diagonal fashion. All right, so now we're gonna look at one more minor type of scale, and that is the Phrygian scale. So again, the minor pentatonic scale is the shell. That's five of the seven total notes. The two additional notes that we're gonna add for the Phrygian scale is the flat two and the flat six. So that's in box form. Let's now look at it in diagonal form. So your three notes on the low E string are gonna be the root. One whole step lower than that is the flat seven. One half step higher than the root is the flat two. Again, you don't have to get that flat seven in there if you don't want to, but I'm just showing you that that's where the three notes are for this particular string, meaning that the next string is gonna have four notes on it. So you have your flat three, four, five, flat six on the next string. You then have your flat seven, root, flat two. Then you have your flat three, four, five, flat six, all four of those notes on the next string. Flat seven, one, flat two. Flat three, four, five, flat six on the next string. 
Again, when you play the diagonal pattern spanning all six strings, you're getting more notes in there than if you were to just stick with the box pattern. So just going from A to A in the box pattern, it sounds like this. In the diagonal pattern, it's like this. All right, so now we're gonna look at the major types of scales. So we're gonna start off with the major pentatonic scale, which again is a five note scale. The scale formula for a major pentatonic scale is one, two, three, five, six. Those are the five notes. So it's a different scale formula, it has different intervals in it than the minor pentatonic scale. But looking at it on the guitar, you can still use the same shape. So instead of putting your index finger on the note A right here to play the A minor pentatonic scale, you can take your pinky and you can put that on the note A right here to play the A major pentatonic scale. So we're gonna use the same shape that you already probably know, and this is what it sounds like. One, two, three, five, six. One, two, three, five, six. One. And then you have your six down here as well. So A major pentatonic. See how it sounds major now? If you were to do that shift and put your index finger on the A and play that same pattern, it's gonna have a minor type of sound. But you put your pinky on that note A right there. Now it's the A major pentatonic scale. The reason it sounds different is because the intervals are different. So taking this box pattern uh, major pentatonic shape and putting it into a diagonal form, we're still gonna have three notes on one string, two notes, three notes, two notes, three notes, two notes. It's just that on the lowest string right here, the low E string, we're gonna have three notes. All right, so the first of the strings is gonna have three notes on it. So you have your one, two, three on the low E string. So I have to slide from the two to the three when I'm doing this uh, diagonal pattern, just because it sets me up for the next string. Then you have five, six. Then you have one, two, three. Then five, six. Then one, two, three. Five, six. All right, so comparing these back to back, going from A to A using the box pattern. Now using the diagonal pattern. Same thing, same set of notes, just a different way of playing them. All right, so let's now look at the three major types of scales that are just a, an addition to the major pentatonic scale. The major pentatonic scale is five total notes. These three scales that we're gonna look at now are gonna be seven notes, each of which just has two additional notes added to the pentatonic shell. So we have our major pentatonic shell, one, two, three, five, six. The major scale, otherwise known as the Ionian scale, is going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's the scale formula for the major scale, the Ionian scale. So let's see where those notes are added. So you have your one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, one. The pentatonic scale is the shell for that seven note scale. So the diagonal pattern for this scale is gonna start out with the four notes on the low E string and then the three notes, then four notes, then three notes, then four notes, then three notes. So you don't have to play all four notes on the low E string if you don't want to. It's one, two, three. If you wanna get the seven in there, that's one half step lower than the one. So the four notes are gonna be on the low E string. Three notes are gonna be the A string. That's the four, five, six. And then you have your seven, one, two, three. Then your four, five, six. Then your seven, one, two, three. Then your four, five, six. So the way that I like to play this particular scale in the diagonal form is every time I get to the seven, I like to slide from the seven to the one using my first finger. So if I'm doing one, two, three on the low E string, then four, five, six on the A string, seven, one. Because that sets me up for the one, two, three on that same string. Four, five, six, seven, one. Again, setting me up for the one, two, three. 
four, five, six. All right, so for the Lydian scale, it's just the major scale, but instead of having a natural four, it has a sharpened four. It's a one single note difference from the major scale. It's the fourth. So you have your one, your two, your three. Instead of just a four, you have a sharpened four. So instead of playing it there, I'm gonna play that up here. So one, two, three, sharp four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, sharp four, five, six, seven, one. All right, so that's the box form of it. Let's look at it in its diagonal form. So you have your one, two, three, sharp four, five, six, seven, slide to the one, two, three, sharp four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, sharp four, five, six. Finally, we have the Mixolydian scale. The Mixolydian scale is the same as the major scale, except it has a flattened seven. So major scale is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Mixolydian scale is one, two, three, four, five, six, flat seven. You just lower the seventh by one half step. So first looking at it in the box pattern, you have your one, two, three, four, five, six, flat seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, flat seven, one. There's your mixolydian scale in the box pattern. Let's look at it in the diagonal pattern now. So you have your one, two, three. You could also add in the flat seven on the string if you want, which is one whole step below the one. You do that, and then you have your four, five, six on the A string. Then you have your flat seven, slide to the one. Two, three, four, five, six, flat seven, slide to the one. Two, three, four, five, six. Again, if we just go from A to A in this box pattern, it's gonna sound like this. Going from A to A in the diagonal pattern. All right, guys, so hopefully you enjoyed that. That was uh, just another way to look at these scales. You know, you're probably used to playing these scales in their box pattern form, and there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. I've spent many, many, many years doing that, but when you start to uh, kind of look at these diagonal patterns, it just kind of, it gets you playing more across the fretboard. It opens up new licks, new runs, new different ways to play the scales and stuff. Even though you're playing the same notes, you'll, you'll just find you're using different fingers and stuff like that. So you just, it just opens up a whole new world of possibilities. So give it a shot, have fun with it. I'll see you next time.